Hi. <laughs> um, so I kind of made a video, but I wanted to put more stuff in it, so I'm kind of remaking it, but I think this one will be better. <laughs> and I'm pretty much adding on to it. It's not like I'm totally remaking it, so <laughs> it works out. So I went to Phoenix to visit my dad, and I'm really, really sorry that I didn't make a video. I felt bad about it, but anyways, I'm sorry. So I have some clips from there, and it's, uh, it was pretty good. It was really, really fun. Um, a lot of it was just hanging out with my dad, so, um, but the rest of it is pretty much like this. Backyard is sort of flooded. We have to put another bin out there. It was really, really rainy. Um, the drive home was like this. shops or a house or something or mountains if you're used to that like I am it's just a weird feeling being out here all alone in this huge expanse of desert like fascinated by those lights for a while. <laughs> also Tina's video or your video whatever was uploaded today so I also wanted to add on to that as well. Well add on to my video is kind of a response to yours but <laughs> first I want to show you the thing that I legitimately am remaking this for. Um, I started college this week and um, I'm taking photography humanities 120 which is European humanities and mythology and um, I just thought you guys would be really interested in that especially 
especially Dusty, because he was asking me while I was in Humanities one time, we were texting back and forth, asking me about the Norse um, pantheon and everything, so, um, humanity, humanities, you don't learn much about religion, you just learn more about the culture around that, but mythology, I really am learning it, so, um, where is it? I just had it. So this is the textbook, The World of Myth. Ah. Um, I really love. I really love it so far. Um, it's it goes chronologically instead of by culture, so it's kind of in, it's kind of hard to uh, grasp at first. But there's creation myths and Ragnarok, so apocalypse myths. So, anyways, it's really interesting, and I'm. I'm already, I'm a week into the class, so it's not that far, but I'm already loving it. I'll be able to text Dusty and tell him about the stuff that I'm learning. And, um, oh, also, I'm wearing this necklace, and it's a Viking knit copper wire necklace that, um, one of my acquaintances made, I guess, and, um, she said that she's making a hunter green one, and I had to have it. Thank you, Claudia, for the cookie, because I rather enjoyed it. It was rather delicious. Kind of missing some bits since it came out of your pocket, but that's okay. I still loved it. <laughs> My favorite animal is probably a fox or a bunny. But don't quote me on that because I'm really not sure. I, I really like animals. I also really like owls and deer. I kind of collect owl things even before the hipster started to or whatever. Um, so... There's that. I really like deer, though, and I know deer is your favorite animal, so we have something in common. <laughs> um, my favorite color is, well, I have two. Blue, technically cobalt blue, and uh, forest green, or moss green. They're, they're kind of almost the same, but yeah. <laughs> my favorite toy is this one. Look at his little red converse. Yeah. Ooh, he's cool. <laughs> um, my favorite mag magical creature are probably either unicorns or fairies or elves. Oh, dang it. Elves. Yeah, elves. I like them. They're really cool. Technically, maybe dryads, but those are... Hmm, I don't know. It depends on what uh, mythology you're going into, so I don't know. <laughs> My favorite movie, that's like a favorite song. That's just, it changes all the time. Uh, right now, right now is probably, shoot, I guess The Avengers, can that be a thing? It's not my favorite movie of all time, though. If I had one movie to watch for the rest of my life, then it would be Harry Potter, the first one. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite song right now is, um... Crap. Probably Too Close by Alex Clare. I keep on going back to it, and I really like it. <laughs> and I want to make a music video out of it, so I listen to it over and over and over, and I just see the different shots in my head, and so it's just, I'm obsessing with it right now. <laughs> my favorite food is sushi. Oh, I love sushi. My favorite candy... Uh, do Slurpees count? <laughs> my favorite drink is Slurpees. <laughs> now, my favorite drink is probably sweet tea. Like, like the typical southern, not even iced tea, sweet tea. <laughs> my favorite bug... My favorite bug is, hmm, probably Lunar Moth. I really like those. My favorite place to go in Claudia's was rocks. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> kind of like a fish. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Ho, 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 ho. I am hidden. <laughs> probably Disneyland. But my favorite shape is a star. It's always been my favorite shape. Uh, my favorite number is 7. Um, but I'm also a huge fan of 21. Don't know why. That's always a big one. And 24. 
Yeah. I guess that's pretty much it. So, um, I hope we start getting back to our regular schedule. That, it's all my fault. I'm the one that started the trend, so, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I miss you, and I love you, and, uh, 